Does everybody understand that how you can cure any disease in your body with magnets? If you don't understand that, please ask. It's the oldest science on the planet. Essentially what you're doing when you suck up the magnetic energy is you're raising your vibratory rate. And once you start tapping into your chakras and you can start to physically feel your chakras every day, you can feel the pressure in your head from your pineal gland and your, you start to operate that brain valve and what this does is it tends, it raises the vibratory rate of every cell in your body. You have to understand that disease is our low vibrating organism. Right. Once you raise your vibration, they cannot exist. It burns them up. Um, and case in point, like one, one thing I had been waiting for, for this individual who, who, who um, with, with the AIDS is, I know he's raising his vibratory rate, so it, it should be a point where he should get a fever because what, what, what happens is, is as you speed up the vibratory rate, you also speed up the rate which you produce poison. And what has to happen is the immune system has to kick up another notch to knock those poisons down so now the immune system has recorded in memory a, a new higher vibration, okay? to which nothing else below that can exist. Uh, it, you, basically what your body is is, is a computer. Your, 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 all your DNA are computer chips. Your brain is a supercomputer that has a black dot which is called a CPU, your central processing unit. And this is the baddest central processing unit on the planet. Listen to me, people. They ain't crying, can't make nothing. When you, when you activate your 360 degrees and activate all your 12 energy centers and get to God here, and a computer in this planet, in this galaxy, can, can deal with this cosmic computer. Okay? So, what, so when I get back to the story, the, the, um, I was expecting this AIDS guy to get sick. And I, you know, uh, especially, he finally got sick after three weeks, and he had a fever, and he went to the doctor, and it w really wasn't that bad. The doctor was like, well, you got a fever, but, you know, to have a fever as bad as you got, you look pretty good to me. Okay? So, um, that's what's happening when you, you know, and also, uh, now, let me, let me, let me just, I, that's why I want to hit on this, tell what this crack I got to say about the time that ran. All right? Listen to this. Uh, sound far fetched today, perhaps. First, let's get, let's get to um, what about the pineal gland. Discovered in 1959, melatonin occurs naturally throughout the living world. From allergy to primates, secreted in larger animals by the pineal gland, located in the center of the brain, it is the chemical embodiment of night. In fact, dusk or dark triggers melatonin production and sunlight inhibits it. Now, he, what he didn't tell you is, everything on the planet got a pineal gland, but him. That's right. Come on. Okay? Mm -hmm. So what this, what this article is telling you, how they, these crackers are using melatonin to cure breast cancer. Essentially what they did is they took 60 women in Swiss, Switzerland with breast cancer, they gave half melatonin, they gave the other half nothing, and the ones with the breast cancer, the tumors disappeared because by feeding them melatonin. So the cracker, either he don't want you to know melanin is the whole key, or he's stupid, he's telling you melatonin that he done synthesized in the laboratory is the key ingredient to fighting off everything. No, the pineal gland secretes two hormones, melatonin and serotonin. The end product of every cell in your body, of all the chemicals that they put in your body, the end product is melanin, okay? So by him putting, feeding these people melatonin, the body of sugar takes it, breaks it down into what? Melanin, the melanin is curing these women of breast cancer, not the melatonin, but he's showing you how ignorant he is, all right? So now, um, what else we want to talk about? This cracker, he, he's so, he so light in the britches. Um, there's something else. Oh, let, now listen to this to show you that uh, essentially, now I'm going to tell you, uh, another thing I want to get, get across to you is black people, we were not meant to die. Okay? We were not meant to die. Why do you think Adam, uh, 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 Methuselah, all those patriots in Genesis chapter 5 can live to be six, seven, eight, nine hundred years. Why? And we can't do it now. Okay? What they're showing you here is that the pineal gland, they took a pineal gland out of an a, a 18-month-old rat, 
They had an 18-month-old rat and a three-month-old rat. They took the pineal glands and reversed them, and they found out that the 18-month-old the, the rat, which had the three-month-old rat pineal gland, lived three times longer than the three-month-old rat with the 18-month-old rat pineal gland in his head. And also, another thing that I have found out from using magnets, if you get disease or anything like that, and like, like I've been wearing magnets now strongly for about a year, I haven't, I used to get colds twice a year. I haven't got sick. I used to get sinus problems. My scientists, I used to go take all that Sudafed and all that crap. I don't have to take none of that medicine no more. Just get hooked up. <laughs> all right? Just get hooked up. So let me leave a number with you um, to, to, to um, get in contact with me while I'm in, in Atlanta. 349-3994. Um, and my name is Richard. Where are you based? Well, I, I live in uh, Massachusetts. But what I'm trying to uh, get started is a, a lecture circuit where I can come down here and, and give sessions on um, exactly, uh, to, 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 and that's to start to break down the body on a practical level and show you all these energy dwells in your body that's sitting there waiting, crying for you to tap into it. And it's a spirit. And once you tap into that, then you start tapping into these cosmic cycles and cracker don't stand a chance. But um, I'd like to thank Brother Bobby for having me here today. And um, hopefully after, you know, after this, you want to work some sessions after we, after this is over, we can talk about that. Now, also, y'all get a brother black hand. Now, we have got to get this brother on the circuit. You see, you know, you got a lot of people and all, and like I got told.